Hello guys, uh, it's Boo Radley here. We doing a review on salt, uh, sea salt, uh, as the case is. It was a very high tech, uh, high tech gadget for the year 2010. Congratulations, we made it to 2010, uh, but we have two years till the world ends. But on the happy side, uh, we do have sea salt, which was not shown in the CES convention of the year. Um, but, you know, that, I was quite disappointed of that because I know this is really high-tech, you know, along with Splenda and Instant Coffee. Um, and I might do a review of those later. Um, but this is Sea Salt Find Crystals. Um, excuse me for my French, but it's Cell de uh, Murphine Baleen. Um, I know I missed a couple words there, but, you know, they're pretty difficult. Um, you know, it's pretty high-tech. So, you know, if you're French, it's just highly compatible with you. Uh, but if you're Spanish and you don't speak English, then it's also non-compatible. So I, I suggest you, you know, just sticking along with normal salts that they probably sell in, uh, you know, across the borderline. I'm not racist at all, you know, I'm Spanish myself, so. Um, but, you know, let's not get off the case because this is, you know, this is a lot of things to review about this product since it's so high tech. Um, in, the, in the beginning, it tells you exactly um, how much, you know, how much, it's in there, you know, there's one pound of salt, or that means it's 10.5 ounces, um, which net weight is 26.5 ounces, and then it's 750 grams. So then you start thinking, well, what, what does all these numbers mean? You know, do they multiply by each other? This is a vector series, um, but I know this is, this is very high tech, so you might be assuming those kinds of things for this uh, specific uh, salt and container. Um, as you can tell, it's not a box as your normal salt. Uh, come in, but this is a cylindrical case in which the case is that you know they describe a lot of you know there might be a lot of questions about this high tech uh, gadget, so they put in their email and address that's in France. And if you want me, I'll post that up later. Uh, just subscribe and I'll you know email you and we could chat and talk about this all day because there's a lot of things to talk about this salt. And this salt was actually made uh, in France on a protected site. Um, which probably means they had heavy artillery protecting it, um, AK-47s, nuclear bombing, and all that kinds of uh, American fun stuff, right? Uh, but let's go ahead and go on to the nutritional facts before I start going on to the accessories that this brings. Um, it has zero grams of calories, I mean, zero calories, uh, has 580 milligrams of sodium. And has a nice little picture, so you can imagine yourself going to France and finding a site where they make your natural sea salt. Um, this product of France also includes on its packaging the ingredients that it contains. It has four simple ingredients that we all could find in our local supermarket, hopefully, or at least in France you can. Um, but it has sea salt, magnesia, anti-caking aging agent, sorry, uh, and a E535 um, ingredient. We all know what that is. If not, then I guess we're just American because this is a French product. And let's put our taste buds onto the French embassy. Um, it's, it's blue, which is pretty cool because, you know, when you think about the ocean, you think about it being blue. And they put a well there because you don't want a shark to be in the in the um, in this picture because, you know, might think that's uh, quite intimidating or you don't want to put a dolphin in there. Which is pretty smart to put one there, but it's probably quite docile, you know. And so they put decided to put a well there because you know that shows how big you are and how much power you hold. Um, so it's a high tech product. So if you have any questions, here's a bar scan. You know, Google it, barcode it. Um, just just put it onto Google, and you know it probably brings up a lot of you know important information. This is recyclable uh, material, product of France. So they are recyclable. Um, as I said, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but they actually put their email address and their physical site on-site uh, address, you know, so if you want to send them an email or a physical paper message, you know, tell them how much you love. Just make sure that you put a good stamp on there 
on the back uh, to seal it off, maybe with a little bit of wax. Um, they prefer probably burgundy wax. Um, but you know, that being the case, let's go and move on to the the ports of this um, container. Here we have this cap, which actually probably, I'll show you this one first. This one is where a whole bunch of salt comes out, right? You see that big hole? I tried to put my finger in there, but as you can tell, my fingers are pretty big. Uh, but it won't fit in there, so I might show you this amount of salt that comes out of this uh, con this container. It's probably for uh, one fourth diameter of the other hole, which is uh, you know four holes there. As you can see, it's simple, um, but it's still very high tech. Uh, it probably comes out at a really good angle when you're spreading out your salt. It probably comes and projects and disperses on your food evenly which I guess is something that they, the engineers of this, this product, I know I'm sure a couple of engineers actually took a long time to develop this product. Um, but the cap is very sturdy. You could tap it really hard. You probably use it as a helmet or um, you could store some good things in there other than salt after you're finished. Um, on the other hand, you know, they could tell you know, the commercially quite well, they put some salt on top of it so they show you that you use your salt. It's not only for show. Um, hmm. Only the other thing I could tell about this project is that it's not USB compatible or FireWire compatible. It has, um, but you know the only compatibility that it has is with French and um, maybe uh, combat, com some compatibility with the Canadians. But the cap seems a little uh, quite high tech for the for the Canadians to actually uh, figure out. It does stand on in, on its own. It's not me just holding it up. It's, it does stand on its own. Um, what else can I tell about this product? Oh, the product is white inside. Uh, you don't want the black stuff or, you know, brown stuff or, you know, midway in between color. You want the white to show your purity. And I guess you wouldn't want something that is not like that in France. Um, but yeah, that is a great high-tech gadget for the year 2010. Um, this goes along well with all the high-tech meals that you eat in front of your high-tech TV. Um, and it probably lasts you a couple of, uh, couple of weeks. You know, if you eat a lot of salt, um, it probably tastes good if you eat a salt, uh, a, a tablespoon of salt each day. I'm not saying it's good for you. Oh, and another thing about this product, it actually tells you what the bad thing is about this product in big letters. So, you know, the French are pretty sincere with what they make. Uh, they say this salt does not supply iodide a necessary nutrient so it's probably telling you uh, this is not good for you uh, but it's not bad for you but yeah there you go 2010 not included in the CES so I just wanted to update the CES convention maybe next time they could have this and Splenda and along with other things thank you very much signing off hooray <laughs>